Hello there, Patia. It's Dr. Ian, and I'm at the Bangkok Hospital, Patia, for another one of our HealthWise programs. My special guest today is Dr. Napaporn, who is an obstetrician and gynecologic oncologist. We're going to talk a little bit about HPV. Welcome to the program, Dr. Napaporn. Hi, thank you. <laughs> exactly what is HPV. HPV is a virus. The term, the full term is called human papilloma virus. It's a group under the sexually transmitted disease and we know that it is one of the most common cause of the cervical cancer but we have to understand that the HPV there are more than 100 subtypes. We group it into two groups. One is the low risk group that is more in number more than 50 in subtype, and that we know it causes the genital warts. Mm -hmm. That can cause the female genital warts or male genital warts. Anyway, that is not the one that we pay attention on. We are more concerned with the high-risk group of the HPV that cause cervical cancer, penile cancer, or even anal cancer. So nowadays, uh, we do have the the summarized already that the, H, the high risk group of the HPV that have uh, about uh, 15, 15 in number and the most common one is the 16 and 18 right. that causes cervical cancer. So can we test for HPV so that you know that right this patient has got number 16 or number 18. Right. Now we do, we do have the test we call HPV DNA testing and but we have to say that test it just uh, specify whether you have the high risk group of the HPV or not. It doesn't specify into which number that you have but if you want to know more in detail which number you have you have to go for the genotyping of the HPV. If you come across somebody who is at risk and high risk mm. HPV what can you do? Well, I guess uh, to know about whether that person is at risk or high risk or not. We come to know from the history, the sexual activity, uh, and then the test that we do after we do the pelvic examination. We do the pap smear, we do the HPV DNA testing, and that, that's called combined test. Yes. If you do the two together, and it doesn't show any positive finding, we say, uh, you should have the HPV vaccine right. and that is the one, one group and the other group is we already know that the husband or the sexual partner have the genital warts. We have to pay attention more mm -hmm. and to give the education and to provide the test and the prevention so that the woman doesn't develop into cervical cancer in the future right. without knowing. With the immunization do they have to have boosters or is it one shot for life? All right. We do have the two company of the HP vaccine. One is a two stain vaccine concerning just the cervical cancer that uh, they, they get the HPV number 16 and 18, 18 and then make the vaccine and that you get an injection like today, another one month and six months. And this will cover up to seven years at least. About the booster, we don't have the information yet because the the study has not come to the end. Yeah, exactly. And the second company, uh, it is a full stain vaccine that contains six, number six, 11, 16, and 18, and that gives the protection against genital wart. As well. In the beginning till now, uh, they do say that it gives the protection in genital wart in the female because there have been studied in the female group. And of course, it gives the protection against cervical cancer as well. So that means this full stain vaccine uh, we'll keep the cover of the genital warts, cervical cancer, vaginal cancer, and vulva cancer. And if you have the injection it, like today, two months and six months, and I think the immunity uh, period will last the same seven years to right. begin with. With women, what are the age groups that you're looking right. at? General recommendation is 9 to 26 years, but we have the further study in the elder age group like above 26 year to 45 and another company study up to 55 year right. so now you ask me uh, the recommendation and I do say you can keep in all age so <laughs> long that we know that the cervical cancer can cause a cause of death in the Thai woman um, I think it's number one ranging you know right. mm -hmm. Dr. Napaporn thank you very much indeed 
And for all you women out there, if you're interested in the HPV vaccine, you can make an appointment to see our specialists in the Women's Health Clinic. This is Dr. Ian saying thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.